Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Taco Tuesday and we're gonna be making some vegan chalupas. Let's go ahead and get started. So these are the seasonings that I'll be using, but you can use whatever seasoning you like. Just make sure you incorporate the cumin and also add garlic powder. I was out of garlic powder, so I didn't add that, but definitely add that as well. So my toppings are already prepared. My kids, they play no games. When this is done, they're gonna be ready to eat. So yeah, just have your toppings already prepared. I'm now just gonna sift my flour and bread flour mixture into the bowl. Now you don't have to use bread flour, it's optional. You can just stick to all purpose flour. I already added my shortening in the bowl and this is the brand I use. It is vegan. You can also use vegan butter. That's what I would normally use, but I'm all out. I'm using almond milk and it's the original unsweetened kind. You do not want to use nothing crazy like vanilla or oat milk or nothing like that. Just use the unsweet original. And now you just wanna knead the dough and you wanna just add a little bit at a time. I forgot to mention this. I did add the baking powder in with the flour and sift it all together. And after you knead your dough, you just wanna put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. So when I make my chalupas or tacos, I will use either tofu or this brand of crumbles. I didn't feel like draining the water out of the tofu, so this is the brand we're gonna use. I love this brand, but you can use whatever brand you like. I'm adding red onions and green peppers and some fresh lime juice. This is totally optional. You don't have to do this at all. I just really love my chalupas with green peppers and red onions and that fresh lime juice. I let my onions and green peppers cook for about two minutes and then added my crumbles and let them cook for about five minutes. And after five minutes, you wanna go ahead and add all your spices. So now it's all done, I'ma just set it to the side and start to prepare dough to fry. So now you just wanna pull apart nice sized pieces and just kinda form them into like little balls. This can get a little sticky, so just add some flour to your hands and the surface you're placing your dough on. I use my hands to form a circle. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle at all. And now I'm just using my rolling pin to get it nice and flat. So I already fried about six of them. I had to stop recording because my kids were ready to eat. You do not want to use a deep pot or pan for this process because you only need about two inches of oil. So after letting it fry flat for about a minute or so, you wanna go ahead and start shaping your dough. Now, it does require a little bit of dexterity, but you'll be fine as long as you don't, you know, have it in a deep pan or nothing like that. This should be pretty easy. And once you shape your dough, you just wanna cook it on both sides for about one to two minutes or until you see that nice golden color. So 
Our chalupas are now all done, y'all. Nice and crispy on the outside and soft and doughy on the inside. I kept it real simple with my toppings and I also made some rice and beans on the side. Y'all, I have not had Taco Bell in years, like I would say about seven years, and I remember making these years ago, and that's probably, I, that's probably why I haven't went back, because I can make them at home, and so can you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Please make sure you like and comment, and let me know if you made these, and even if you guys make them, like DM me on Instagram. I'll have my Instagram handle below. I want to see y'all plates. All right, y'all, stay safe. God bless. Bye.